Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to have some fun with this. Milk duds? I love milk duds. Can I have some? Uh, not just yet. We've got a lesson to teach. Please, just a couple. Sounds like you're trying to milk dad. Can I at least have one? I better get rid of these things. Watch. What in the world? They're all gone. Exactly. But how did you make them disappear? Let's just put it this way. They were delicious. Oh, here you go. No thanks. Thanks. Hey kids, Pastor Robbie here, along with my lovely assistant and wonderful daughter, Sadie. Hello. And today, we're gonna have some fun learning about living by faith. Living by faith? What do you mean by that? Well, it means that if we're Christians, we believe that Jesus is God's son and that he died on a cross and three days later rose from the dead. And if we believe in him and follow him, We'll live forever in heaven with him, even after we die. Yeah, I already know all that stuff. Yeah, I know you know it, but do you live it? Do I live it? What are you talking about? Well, let's take a look at today's Bible verse. It comes from 2 Corinthians 5, 7, where it says, For we live by faith, not by sight. What does that mean? I always thought seeing was believing. Seeing is believing, sometimes. But as Christians, sometimes we have to believe without really seeing. What do you mean? Well, you already said that you believe that Jesus was the Son of God, right? Yeah. And that he died on a cross and rose three days later, right? Yeah. And that if we believe in him and follow him, we'll get to live forever in heaven with him even after we die. Of course. So what's your point? Well, my point is, you didn't really see him die and come back, did you? Well, no, but I believe it's true because of what the Bible says. Exactly. You have faith, and we all have to have faith, but sometimes that's easier said than done. Let me demonstrate this for you with a little object lesson I like to call, I don't believe it. All we're going to need is some water, a couple of Pyrex beakers, a Pyrex stirring stick, and some Wesson oil. Now, if I fill this beaker with water and then put the stirring stick inside, it's pretty easy to see, isn't it? Of course, it's right there. And that's how most people live. They've got to see it to believe it. But if we take another beaker and fill it with Wesson oil, and then I put the stick inside, most people would never believe it's in there. Why not? Because it seems to disappear. Watch. That's amazing, where did it go? Oh, it's in there. And that's what it's like to live by faith and not by sight. As believers, we see things through a different lens than non-believers. What do you mean? Well, let's take a look at this other little beaker. And if I could put this one inside, same thing. We know this beaker is real, but voila, it disappears. Unbelievable. Let me show you another trick. Let's take this other beaker that has both oil and water. The oil is on top. And when we put the stir stick inside, we know it's there, even though you can't see it until it comes to the water. Cool. If I pull it back, it's hidden again, but is it in there? Yeah. Are you sure? Of course. How do you know? You can't really see it. I just know. That's how faith works. As believers, we have to live by faith, not by sight. And the best way to do that is by reading the Bible so we can become very familiar with what is true. Let me give you one more example. Do you see this huge vase filled with water? Yeah. Well, what's in there? Nothing, just water. Are you sure? It is just water, right? Because if it were oil, there might be some Pyrex sticks hidden in there. Oh, it's water all right, but not just water. What do you mean? Well, why don't you reach in there and see what you pull out? 
See what I pull out, but there's nothing in there. Have faith, child. Okay, here goes nothing. What in the world? Where did these come from? They're Orbeez balls, which become invisible in water. Amazing! I'll never doubt you again. Well, it's just like when Jesus appeared to Doubting Thomas. He said, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. So, even though I've never seen Jesus in person, I'll be blessed by believing in him? Exactly. Living by faith is a beautiful thing. So, Sadie, what did you learn today? I learned that even though seeing is believing, as Christians, sometimes we have to believe even without seeing. It's called living by faith. Exactly. And the best way to live by faith is to read the Bible and become really familiar with what's true and what's not. Very good. Now will you please show me that milk dud trick? They didn't really just disappear, did they? No, I actually had one hidden inside my mouth the whole time. But what about the rest of them? I even saw you shake the box. Let's just put it this way. Sometimes hearing isn't always believing either. I actually had two boxes. One that was empty and the other was completely full, only that one was rubber band to my arm and hidden under my sleeve. So when I shook the empty one, it sounded like it was full. And then when I opened it up, you couldn't believe your eyes. So that means you've still got milk duds up your sleeve. Yeah, right here. Hmm. I know another way to make them disappear right before your very eyes. How? Like this. Hey, those are my milk duds. Kaga! I don't believe it. Here you go. You can have them back. Oh, uh, gee. No thanks. Oh, brother.